Hello, I am Taumich. Welcome to this tutorial where you will learn how to make this kind of space city. An Atlantis space city. So let's jump straight into Blender and start creating it. I will activate the screen key so you can see what I am uh, pressing. Now the first thing we should do is to create a mirrored cube that we can also duplicate and reuse for every asset that we have. So I'm gonna make a mirror here around it and uh, then I'm duplicating it. And then I start making one of the buildings. So I'm doing this pretty fast, but uh, just creating something, for example, uh, that looks like this, maybe. Uh, you can use some uh, hard surface extrusion modeling to complete this pretty fast. I'm gonna have two building variations and put them in a collection. And then I'm gonna use one building that I'm gonna place in the middle as like the power plant reactor core or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I'm adding these two to the collection here that I'm calling buildings and then this one should be just like this. Now we want a platform also for all of the buildings. So I'm gonna put this in the middle of the world and then flatten it and then try and make some symmetrical shape also out of it. So there are many ways to do that but I'm just doing something pretty quickly that still looks interesting. So I can make a lot of indents and uh, Try and extrude stuff so that you, it gets some uh, microscopic details that uh, look pleasing or pleasant. And now we, I want to create the middle structure that should look like some kind of um, power energy place. So I'm just going to make some shape here and then duplicate it and scale it down a little so we get some uh, gradual decrease in size and detail. Then I want uh, some actual light source that should uh, point straight in, up in the sky, like a pillar of light. Uh, now I also want a second floor for my city, uh, like where the rich people might live or uh, where the troops or military might be located. So I'm just gonna make some indents here, just like before, and make it interesting. You can do whatever you want. This is how I do it. Uh, then I want some pillars down underneath so that it really looks separated from the bottom people down at the bottom. Uh, then uh, scaling it up a little to get the right proportions and placing the core at the middle. Mirroring it also so that I can easily adjust both sides. Uh, yep, so. Next part is to spawn the small buildings. So I'm gonna use this surface as a particle emitter and then spawn them over it. Uh, so I'm spawning the entire collection using rendering as collection. Uh, and then I scale them down to whatever scale I want them to be at. And uh, that's it. Uh, then I also want the engines to have a specific kind of look, so I'm just uh, making some cords along the diameter of the uh, city. Then uh, doing some details and towers at the end that might be raising a shield. Here are the engines that are gonna propel this city with some uh, 1G uh, acceleration. I'm also duplicating it with linking by using Alt-D, which uh, allows me to easily change all of these at the same time. We just went ed editing one. So you can see here as it expands in symmetry. And I can change them all at once and do some cool uh, symmetrical effects in hard surface modeling. So now I'm saving uh, the project and making a shield that should, or an atmosphere and shield. So I'm duplicating this atmosphere. I'm adding some uh, base materials also so that we can shade the city and adjust things. Because now it's getting time to render this and try and get the final look. So I'm making uh, some light sources here with emitters. I'm uh, making a core down underneath the city so that it looks like there's a central power plant down there that just propels energy up in the sky to show the power of this uh, civilization. And now I also want to make the shield, so I need the transparency mixed with the em emitter so that we can get some kind of uh, orb around the city that still shines a little bit. So I'm adding a sun also so that we can get this cool uh, spacey effect. 
I also want to add a space background. Uh, but first I would make a camera and locate it just right in front of the city so that it looks symmetrical and perfectly aligned. And now I'm saving this project. And uh, let's now adjust the scale and the color of the shield around the city. Also adjusting uh, some other colors like the sun. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of details you can play with and you can do whatever you want at this point. Uh, I also want to add the uh, skybox or HDRI, which is like Milky Way HDRI that I use. Very common for space scenes. So now you can see how it looks there. And I'm just trying a lot of renderings of this and checking how it would look and micro adjusting. Uh, I'm also playing with the colors at this point a little. Uh, it's not the best place to play with colors at this point. It's better to usually use compositor, but I will. Uh, I, I usually prefer to mix it a little so that I have some base color already in place. The rest will be used in the compositor. But uh, I'm also playing with the density of the atmosphere because I want it to be visible while not hiding all the details that we have with, uh, within. And I also like the shadow that the atmosphere casts uh, from the city, like under the city you can see at this dark spot. So now we enter the compositor and I'm adding a lot of filters because they are really cool to use. You can see here how I mix all these filters to try and get some correct feeling uh, of like power and space. And then you can play with colors using the color balance and uh, decide on whichever hue or whichever color you want to use here. And then uh, you can uh, start saving this image because if you save this image then we can start making some more details in the front. So I'm gonna make this spaceship here that should fly by the camera and looking as if it's uh, gonna fly towards the city. Really cool effect that I really like to use to try and get some depth in the scale of the city. So I'm placing it here in the corner. Uh, it's gonna look like it's moving towards the city, so I'm gonna show you some effects to do that. First, I will just hide the city and render the spaceship alone. And uh, don't forget to turn on transparency, so that only the spaceship uh, renders, and with an alpha around it. Because now we can add the image that we saved of the previous render, and add it as a background. Uh, behind the spaceship that we just uh, rendered. And now we want to add a vector blur or direct directional blur and then uh, try and adjust it a little with distance and zoom and then the quality so that you get some kind of flyby effect that looks really good. So now that we have everything here in place we can finish this little piece of art. A really cool looking Atlantis city that was made pretty quickly. I think uh, maybe 20 minutes this time. So yeah, here is the result. And you can see all the details and you can also add more details and uh, do whatever you want. This was more like a example of how quickly you can make something that looks pretty awesome. So I hope you liked this tutorial and uh, make sure to subscribe for more and uh, like this video or comment anything you want to see in the future. Bye bye.